Recursion 1, count high 2. Given a string, compute recursively the number of times lowercase h i high appears in the string. However, do not count high that have an, um, that have an x immediately before them. So let's go over the sample cases first. So here there is h i here. And here there's another h i, but of course we do not count them if there's an x immediately before it. Therefore, this will return 1. Here there is an h i and an h i. Both high occurrences do not have an x before them, immediately before them. Therefore, we will return 2. And here there are two h i and h i's, except now both of them have an x immediately before them. Therefore, we will ignore them both and we will return 0. Okay, so how will we um, compute this? Um, well, um, this is very similar to the previous problems. Um, and yeah, basically, we're just iterating through and checking at, um, the first two or three characters to see um, if they are an hi or if they are an xhi, and then we will um, return the appropriate values accordingly. Okay, so here, for example, we get the first three characters. Um, the first three characters are xhi, so we know that we can just ignore um, xhi, and then we will just be returning hi, and then a h i x h i the reason why we do this is because if there's an x h i we know that we have to ignore in the entirety of it if we just iterate um one forward like we usually do then we will be having h i and we may count this and this is not what we're supposed to do therefore we have to skip this entire substring and continue forward okay so next we have um a h i x h i um, so, of course, it's the first three characters are a, h, i, that is not equal to x, h, i. The first two characters are a, h, which is not equal to h, i, either. Therefore, we will just increment one forward and continue. Next, we have h, x, h, i. The first three characters are h, i, x, that is not equal to x, h, i. But the first two, character, two characters are h, i, and that is h, i. Therefore, we add one to the count, and then we continue forward. Um, with the rest of the substring, which will be x, h, i. Uh, we are skipping these first two characters because we have used it and accounted for it accordingly, so we will just go move on with the rest of the substring. So next we have x, h, i, and x, h, i um, is equal to x, h, i, so we know that we can just skip immediately, it immediately, and we will get this, which is the rest of the string. And of course, if we have this, we can just return zero. Um, so, let's say that we ha did not have this in the end. Let's say, for example, um, that we had A, B, C. Um, then what we can do is we first check the first three characters, which is A, B, C, that is not equal to X, H, I. The first two characters are not equal to H, I either. Therefore, we will just move on once. Next is B, C. B, C is a string less than um, length 3, so we will not check the X, H, I case. However, it is length 2, so we can check the uh, can check the hi case, but of course bc is not equal to hi. So we will continue forward. Um, and of course here, I mean this as count hi2. Um, that goes with this out without saying, because this is recursion. Okay, so finally we have c. And of course, now that we have c, we, can, we don't need to check anything. It can't be equal to hi, and it can't be equal to xhi, so we will just return 0. Okay, so let's implement that. So first, if the string is length less than or equal to 1, like this case or this case, then we just return 0. And then, now we check the other cases. So first, if the length of the string is greater than or equal to 3, then we can then we can check um, if the first three characters are equal to x h i. Here, what I'm doing is I check if the length is greater than or equal to three. I get the substring of the first three characters and I check if it's equal to x h i. If it is, then we know that we have to skip it, so we we'll just continue forward, skipping the, those first three characters. Similarly, here, if the, um, the string is greater than or equal to 2, then we know that we can check um, if the first two characters are equal to hi. 
And if it is equal to hi, then we can add 1 to the count, and then we can continue forward with the rest of the string, skipping those first two characters, which will be this. If none of these are true, um, well, uh, yeah, if none of these are true, then we know that we can just increment 1 forward. That is, of course, cases like um, this, for example. The first two, three characters and the first two characters are not of importance here, so we just continue forward. Um, so we run that, and it worked.